Hi everyone, welcome to the CA classroom. Today we will be discussing the topic AS4 Accounting Standard 4 which is contingencies and events occurring after the balance sheet date. However, the segment of contingencies will be separately dealt in a standard called AS29. So we will now be discussing events occurring after the balance sheet date. Let us take a small timeline to understand this standard. Let us say 1st April 2019 is the beginning of the year and 31st March 2020 is the end of the financial year. So for this period of 12 months, financial statements are prepared which includes profit and loss account, balance sheet, cash flow etc which are distributed to the shareholders. However, can I distribute the same on 31st March? No. Can I distribute it on 1st of April? No. There is a process and it takes some time. Let us say after the year ending, board is given some substantial amount of time. Let us say they take a period of few months and on 30th June 2020, April, May, June, after three months, the board of directors prepare the financial statements and approve the same. We very well know that management statement, management prepares the financial statements and board approves it. Let us say in our example, board is approving the same on 30th of June and handing it over to the auditors of the company. The auditors take two months time and let us say on 31st of August, auditors give the audit report to the company. Auditors give the audit report to the company and then the AGM is held, let's say on 20th of September, the AGM is held for the company and the financial statements pertaining to the period 1st April 2019 to 31st March 2020, for this period financial statements are given to the shareholders of the company in the AGM on 20th of September 2020. Now, let us assume there are some events which happen after the 31st March 2020. Events occurring after the balance sheet date. So what is the balance sheet date? So after this, all the events which occur, what should I do as per AS4 and what is the timeline that I have to cover? Let us say somewhere around this time, company incurs heavy loss of 20 crores and the net profit for this 12 months was only 20 crores and both get locked off or let us say as on 31st March I have trade receivables from a party for 10 crores and somewhere around here that party is declared insolvent. Now what should I do with my financials? that I have some more time until the AGM, can I issue the financials or can I make changes to the previous financial period between April to March even though the event is occurring after the balance sheet date is what the standard will give me clarity. What the standard says is events occurring after balance sheet date will be classified into two events. First will be called an adjusting event Second will be called a non-adjusting event. If my transaction which happens after the balance sheet date falls within the adjusting event, then I will make adjustment to my assets and liabilities. If it is a non-adjusting event, I will not make any adjustment. Now, we should know events occurring after balance sheet date is from 31st March until which date? Does it stop here? Does it stop here or does it stop here? That will be our next. In the discussion. previous section, we had seen overview of AS4. Now we are going to see what are those events that occur after the balance sheet date. This statement is defined as events occurring after the balance sheet date are those events both favorable and unfavorable. That means it can be any event which is favorable to the company. For example, company has won a new project. Unfavorable.
trade receivables one of the party who accounts for 10% of the trade receivables has declared himself insolvent so are those events both favorable and unfavorable that occur between the balance sheet date and the date on which financial statements are approved by the competent authority so in the previous example we had seen on our timeline had 1st april as beginning of the year 31st march and then we have three important dates one was 30th of june 31st of august and 20th of september end of the year this is the financial period 30th of june was the day when which board of directors approved the financial statements 31st of august was the day on which we got the audit report and then 20th of september was the agm date therefore events both favorable and unfavorable that occur between the balance sheet date and the date on which financial statements are approved by the competent authority the competent authority here is the board of directors so these three months april may june as4 covers any event which happened within these three months any event which happens after this you have a separate standard in auditing sa560 subsequent events which covers for those event so we will mainly look at events which happen in three months after year ending before board of directors approve the financial statements if there is any event how to account for that event next we will see what are the types of events which can happen between this three months. in the previous section we had seen events what is the time frame for events it is from balance sheet date until date on which board of directors approve the financial statements events are now classified into two adjusting events and non adjusting events what are non adjusting events it is defined as new events relating to assets and liabilities on balance sheet date what are adjusting events events which give additional evidence which give additional evidence of a condition or a situation of assets and liabilities on balance sheet date now let us say now all these events remember guys all these events are happening within that period time frame cover under as4 from balance sheet date until the date on which board of directors known as competent authority approve the financial statements now let us understand what is an adjusting event events which give additional evidence of a condition or situation of assets and liabilities on balance sheet date what you have to do is go back in time assume assume this event which happened over here actually happened on 31st of march if i knew this information if i knew this information on 31st march what will i do for example let us say trade receivables are 500 and it relates to just one party who has to pay me 500 rupees i am not certain whether he will pay or not so i am creating a provision for bad and doubtful debts for 10% and showing my trade receivables as net as 450 on 31st of march after few weeks after balance sheet date there is an event which happens let's say mr x has to pay me 500 now events which give additional evidence let's say x is now become insolvent and he has declared this insolvency events x becoming insolvent is giving me additional evidence of a situation what is the situation i had a doubt whether he will pay or not giving me additional evidence of a condition or situation of assets and liabilities on balance sheet date hence this event of x becoming insolvent is giving me additional evidence of a situation which already existed on my balance sheet date and hence this event will become an adjusting event now what i will go and do i will write off the entire 500 as bad debts in my books of accounts new events relating to assets and liabilities on balance sheet date let us say company has won a new project and this is going to generate new revenue of 
500 crores. Now, this is a new event. On 31st March, I had no clue that I am going to win a new project. I made application only in April. In May, it got sanctioned. And in June, I won, June, I won a new project where I am going to have a revenue of 500 and crores. So, it is a new event not relating to my assets and liabilities which are already existing on the balance sheet date. Hence, it will be a non-adjusting event. So, what is the accounting treatment? If it is an adjusting event, they are saying, go and adjust the assets and liabilities. However, for non-adjusting event, we will not do anything. But if the event is so material that information has to be given to shareholders, then I will declare in the board of directors report. I will report in the board of directors reports in the financial statement saying, there is a non-adjusting event, so and so has happened. However, there is one exception where non-adjusting event becomes an adjusting event. Let us say, after balance sheet date, there is a fire in the factory building and let us say, the factory is worth 300 crores and because of the fire, this 300 crores has come down to 10 crores. Now, can I do business after this? No. This is affecting my future business. What is the term in AS1? Going concern. Any event which is a non-adjusting event which affects my going concern, then such a non-adjusting event will become an adjusting event and then you will make adjustment as per adjusting event. So, this is the definition for adjusting and non-adjusting event. The core point is you have to assume this event happened as if on 31st March and see what adjustment you can make. Such assets and liabilities should already be there in your balance sheet and for those assets and liabilities, now you are getting some additional information. Let us say there is already a contingent liability on 31st March for a case against the company and win or lose is 50-50. Hence, you are showing it as a contingent liability. Now, in the month of May, you have lost the case and you have to pay, let's say, 5 crores for the settlement. Then, events losing the case is giving me an additional evidence of a condition or situation of assets and liabilities that existed on my balance sheet date. So, in exam, they will give you a small case. You have to first check, first check is it an event covered under AS4? Is it within the period of balance sheet date and the date of it on which financial statements are approved? Second, you have to check is it an adjusting event or a non-adjusting event as per the definition and then give respect to accounting treatment. The only exception when non-adjusting event becomes an adjusting event is because of going concern. However, in the textbook, in some old textbooks, one more exception for non-adjusting event to become adjusting event will be proposed dividend. If there is proposed dividend also, it is a non-adjusting event, it will become an adjusting event. This is all about AS4.